This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Moving up and down. You'll want your player sprite to move up and down as well. That would make sense. It's a game. Do this. Inside the move player function, use a conditional, an if, right? An if statement checks a condition. So if this is happening, if the key is down, if the condition of the key being down is true, to detect when the up arrow is pressed. If it is, move the player sprite up by three. Use another conditional, right? So use another if to move the player down when the down is pressed. Test your code and see that the character can move in all four directions. If you don't have all this stuff, right, with left and right movement already, you need to go back and do the other chunks of this lesson. Okay, so we need ifs for the up and down movement, and it will be similar to what we have. So I'm going to go ahead and look in control, grab an if, and bloop. Okay, and this is going to be up and down. So I'll go ahead and grab both my ifs and drop them. And what do I want to check? Within world is where we can check. And I'm going to do what I did before, key down. So what happens with key down? It's only going to be true and false. Because to check a condition, you need a Boolean value. Boolean, remember, means true or false. So if the up key is down. So if the user's holding the up key, this would be true, right? And if this is true, we would run the code inside. If it is false, that's fine. This is false, right? Maybe I'm not holding any key. Maybe I'm holding the space bar. It really doesn't matter. But if this is false, it doesn't run the code inside. And it just would then check in this particular code if the, and I want this to be down, down key is down. If that's also false, that's fine. It wouldn't run the code inside and we keep going. So how are we going to do movement? We're going to use the counter pattern like we have previously. So I'll go ahead and grab a sprite Y and sprite Y. Keep in mind, this is a move player function. It's not running automatically. We have it being called in the draw loop. So 30 times a second, move player runs. What does move player do? The computer says, I don't know what that is, smack. And it looks at this code. It checks if, 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 moves the player if it needs to finishes running the function, moves to the next line, and then it would run displace enemies. All right, so how are we going to move up? Let me hit reset, run. This is something annoying that often I mess up. If you look at my mouse right now, it says Y is 252. I'm going to put it way towards the top. Notice Y goes down. Y is now 48. So that being said, if I want to go up, am I adding to Y or am I subtracting? Right? Y gets smaller as I move up. So 0y is at the top, and 348y is towards the bottom. This is going to be true for a lot of different game engines. It can be true for Android Studio, uh, for Unity 2D, depending on how you're de developing it. That being said, to go up, then, you would need to subtract. To go down, you need to add. So why is it a bit strange? So keep in mind, that in mind. Uh, I don't have a sprite. I have a player variable. And so player.y is going to equal player.y minus three because i want to go up so i have to just subtract and then down player dot y is going to be equal to player dot y plus three to go down let's give this a shot up down rah, rah, movement awesome onward 